Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up a budget in your AWS account. Before you create a budget in your AWS account, if you want to learn more about the AWS free tier offerings, go to the AWS website and on their website, select pricing. And I'm going to select AWS free tier. On this page, you are going to see the three types of offers in the free tier. The first one is always free, and these are for services that are always free. The second offering is 12 months free, and that is when you sign up for your AWS account for the first time. The first 12 months is going to be free for some services. And the third one is trials, and these are short-term trial services. So if you scroll down, you can filter the free tier offerings here. For example, if I select the 12 months free and it is going to filter it by the services that fall under the 12 months free. And if you want to filter it down to a particular service, for example, compute, I'll select it. And it is going to filter it by the compute services that falls under the 12 months free. This is how you do research on services that are either on trial, always free or 12 months free. The next thing we are going to do is create our budget in the management console. So what I'm going to do is sign in into the management console here. And on this page, make sure you sign in as the root user because only the root user has access to your billing information. I'm going to sign in. Once you have signed into the management console as the root user, under your account name here, select the drop down and select my billing dashboard. On this page, you are going to see the billing information for your account. You have your spend summary here, which gives you a summary of what you spend month to month. For example, in February, I only spent 96 cents and it is showing that my forecast for the month of March, it is going to be a dollar 53 cents. Over here, you have the month to date spent by service. So this breaks it down to each service, how much you spend for the month. And if I scroll down and down here, you can also see the top free tier services that you are using the most. And if you select view all, you can find more information about them here. If you select billing preferences and on this page, you can add another email in here. If you don't want to be alert on the email that is connected to this account, I am also going to enable the receive billing alerts. If you want to create a CloudWatch alarm that alerts you on your billing information, then you need to check this box. So that's what I'll do on this page and I'm going to select save preferences. The next thing you are going to do now is create your budget. So select budgets and select create a budget. It is going to be a cost budget. Select set your budget. And in here, we are going to give our budget a name. Call it my monthly budget. For the period, we are going to set it at monthly, but you also have daily, quarterly, and annually. For budget effective dates, we are going to leave it as recurring budget and leave the date as it is and scroll down. And under specify your monthly budget, we have a fixed price and we also have monthly budget planning. If you select monthly budget planning, you can enter your budget for each month. So for example, we are in March. You can enter your budget for March, April, May, and so on. We are going to select fix. For the budget amount, I'm going to specify $25. I'll type 25 in there. Then we are going to scroll down and select configure thresholds. And on this page, we are going to configure the threshold for our budget. The first threshold we are going to set is based on the actual cost. So we'll leave it on actual cost. And for our let threshold, we are going to enter 50 in here. So what this means is that whenever your usage cost for the month is greater than 50% of the amount you specified up here, it is going to alert you. So in my case, 
I specify $25 as my monthly budget. And whenever my usage cost for the month is greater than 50%, which is $12.50, I'm going to receive an alert. Then under set up your notification, I'm going to enter my email here. You can also set up a notification for an SNS topic down here. And you just enter the ARN for that topic. But for this tutorial, we are just going to enter an email. I'll enter my email here. And once you enter your email, you can also set up a budget action, but we are not going to do it in this tutorial. What budget action means is that whenever your threshold has exceed the amount you specify, you can take some type of action in your account. It could be terminate an EC2 instance or whatever action you want to take. So that's what the budget action is for. The next thing we are going to do is add another threshold. So up here, select new threshold. And for this threshold, we are going to specify forecasted cost. For the alert threshold, we are going to enter 100. And what this means is that whenever our forecasted cost for the month is greater than the amount we specify, which is $25, it is going to alert us. And I'm going to enter my email. Next, we are going to add another threshold. I'm going to select new threshold. For this threshold, it is going to be an actual cost. And for the alert threshold, we are going to specify 100. So what this means is that when our actual cost is greater than the amount we specify, which is $25, it is going to alert us. And under notifications, we are going to enter our email. And once you've entered your email, we are going to confirm the budget. I'm going to select confirm budget. And on this page, you can review it. You can see that my budget amount for the month is $25. And I've specified three thresholds with an email. The first one is when my actual cost is greater than 50%, it's going to alert me. The second one is when my forecast is greater than 100% of the amount, it is going to alert me. And the third one is when the actual amount is greater than $25 that I specify, it is going to alert me. And I'll click create. And we have successfully created our budget for the month. And you can see it here if you open it. And in here, you will see more information on the budget. But for now, it is saying it takes up to four days for the budget to be available after you set it up. So we'll give it four days. And after four days, come back and review it. And you'll see more detailed information about your budget in here. This is how you create a budget in your AWS account. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to like this video and share it. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.